take a look pictures in a story different eyes from the days you were a child the ones you love better hold on fast keep them close to your heart a love to last I know this world has a place for me there's so much more that I get one of those weird feelings where your whole life is like a painting and you're just looking at it from the outside. What do the people in the painting know about the person who painted it? Penny, hurry up. If you don't come right now... That'd be Mom. No lift. Whatever. I'll take my bike. over. I have to get back to my booth. Art takes time, Winston. Can you do that squinty thing with your eyes again? What, like this? Yeah, it makes you look brooding and poetic. Make sure you get my good side. <laughs> Which side is that exactly? I know you voted me the sexiest man alive. Of course. Done, Mr. Too Sexy for My Hat. Come on, my eyes aren't that buggy. Pictures don't lie. Seriously, this is what you think I look like? Face facts, buddy. You're no Denzel Washington. Maybe, but I'm no Quasimodo either. Poor baby, you can't take it. Yeah, but well, you're trying to suck. I'll help you lose the art competition. Well, what do you know about art? Why don't you go read one of your stupid books? Why don't you go hang around the mall? If it weren't for me, everyone would find out from now on, you're on your own. Franco, don't miss. I desperately need that husky. Go for it, Franco. If you can hit those wide receivers, this should be a piece of cake. You're disappointing me again, Franco. I thought this is the one thing that you're supposed to be good at. Uh, I think it might be a scam. The balls are, 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 too, are too big for the hole. Hey, I run a clean game here. Maybe you need the bolts in your neck adjusted. Very funny. Hot boy. Uh -huh. Hi, Brandon. Can you help a damsel in distress? The Holy Grail seems to be eluding my white knight. Very poetic, Tanya. Is this stupid dog your Holy Grail? It's just a trinket that will give me some fleeting moment of pleasure. Hey, poetry 101 is that way. If you're gonna try, I need a buck. Branko?
profit. A true knight in shining armor. It's okay, Branko. I know you'll make it up to me. Hey, nice picture, Winston. You have a fight with your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Really? In her dreams. Maybe. So, Penny, uh, am I beautiful? Stunning, Martello. Here you go. And Angela Chabolovit. At least to my old Joanna, she thinks I'm good looking. <laughs> you sure about that? Uh, give me a break, Michelangelina. You know, as a younger guy, I was a very handsome, let me tell you. Is this enough for you? Uh, Winston's the money guy, just a sec. Hey, Winston! I'm not talking to you. Come on, you're not still mad, are you? Go talk to Denzel Washington. Well, in this light, I thought you were Denzel. Y you know what Brandon thought? He thought you were my girlfriend. As if. What did you say? What? Mm, forget it. But, Denzel, Marcello needs change, and I know you love to do that kind of stuff. Hey, Marcello, I see she got you, too. Hey, it could have been worse, no? I think I look like Al Pacino here. I promise, I'll make a new picture of you that will make you look like the hottest guy at Leacock Jr. Okay, I better see that new picture soon, or I will never, ever help you again. I promise. As soon as I get the cramps out of my hand, I'll get right on it. And uh, maybe when I get to my change, I leave, you know? Come on, Penny. Give it your best shot. Hey, everybody, come check this out. Mr. Tabor's getting the beating of his life. Oh, oh, I can get a right in the face. This is how we break in new English teachers, Mr. Tagore. Go easy on me, Penny. The quality of mercy is not strained, as Shakespeare said. Any last words before you're wearing pie, sir? Actually, yes. I'll let you make me messy. If you reconsider signing up for one of my very interesting supplementary English classes. English? When would I ever use English in the real world? Oh. <clears throat> Knowledge is power, Penny. Besides, we can all use a little extra attention and... Let's not talk about that anymore. I've got a better idea. You hold still, and I'll make you really messy. How about that? I'll say it again. A little extra attention never hurt... Yeah! Oh! Well, have your... Cursed pound of teacher meringue pie. Bye bye. But you don't know what you're missing. And I have not yet begun to fight. It's it's not funny anymore, Gavin. This expressway will cut through schools and parks, and the environment Hello? is going to be. I'll read about it. Yep. It's uh, terrible, Vernon. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Hello. Talk to you later. Verna, it's going nuts at the print shop. Mac, you've got to figure out what's important. Don't start on me. I work every day so you can go out and save the world. God, you're a lost cause. Did you know our daughter's on another planet? I'm working. What the hell's your excuse for? Can't you leave your stupid fights at home? Everyone will hear. What? Yeah, okay, well, just tell them to hold his horses, okay? I gotta go, Pump. Don't go, Daddy, please. The competition's soon. Sorry, Penny. I promise we'll celebrate tonight, okay? Bye, Vernon. Yeah, what? Hey, Penn, I need you to help me with something. Gotta go, Mom. Thanks for bailing me out, Hatman. Don't I always? Come on, you two. Only two bucks, a great cause, and you can win a very impressive computer. Pen, cool. This computer takes voice commands. Really? Yeah. No thanks, Miss Page. I mean, Heather. It's kind of weird calling your teacher by their first name. Yes, but it's important that we be on the same level, especially in drama class, where you have to be comfortable to truly express yourself. Yeah. Speaking of that, you know that character sketch we have to do? Mm-hmm. 
I was thinking I want to do it on stage. Interesting. Really get into the head of Lady Macbeth, but as a punk rocker. Okay. Just writing it is so dry. If that's what you need, I'm cool with it, okay? <laughs> that was close. You are so lucky you have an idiot for a drama teacher. You're lucky you didn't have to run another paper for me. Penelope, it's for a good cause. Your mother's into causes, isn't she? Get a life, Tanya. I don't need one of your stupid tickets. Here, I'll buy one for us. I understand. I mean, it is a complex form, especially for certain types of people. And it's a complex world when no one likes you, huh, Tanya? You... <sighs> Never mind. I'm sure you'll get what you deserve, Penny. Even if you don't buy a ticket. Franco, is it true that nobody likes me? No, absolutely not. Not everybody. I like you. I like you quite a bit. Why? Because you're smart and you got nice hair. Thanks. Franco, remember before when I said you could make it up to me? I need you to do something for me. My muse, she rocks. My muse, she talks. Ah, uh, Brandon? Yeah? Uh, I take it you're putting the final touches on your magnum opus? Uh, yeah. I like the acoustics in here. Uh. Mr. Tagore, your advice about the internal rhyme was right on. Oh, good. Knowledge is power. I'm glad I could be of help. Wow. You took a lot of pie, sir. <laughs> Some men are born pied. Others have pies thrust upon them. Mr. Tagore, is poetry really enough? Like, I mean, what's the point? It's just words. Words can drive people to acts of great heroism or great sacrifice or to terrible evil. Words can break our bones, I think. Or help to heal them. I want these words to matter, to touch someone, you know? Brandon, at some point, poetry can only go so far. You have to put down your pen and reach out and tell a person how you actually feel. I gotta go. On the other hand, Brandon? Michelangelina, come inside, I show you something. Come, please. This is how I meet my lovely Giovanna. Giuseppe here, she tells me, you are going to find true love. And I did. Can you believe for one dollar a lifetime of happiness? So you and your wife are happy? Oh, very happy, yes. In a certain light, I could see where you'd be a real good looking. Uh <laughs> Penny, give the man a coin. No thanks, Marcello. It's for suckers. No, no, Penny, Penny, Penny. Please, please, Penny. I pay. I pay, no problem. Ask a question. Drusilla, will Penny win the art competition? What's it say? I'll read it. I can read it. Today you will meet your destiny. Wow. That's heavy stuff. You know, maybe you already meet your destiny. Huh? I doubt it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, that's not what he says. This is from my epic ballad, Ode to a Cool Girl. I can't read it all, it's, it's long. It, it's, it's better with music. Yeah. My muse, she rocks. She shocks me into submission. Words, they're lame. A game, don't cut it through. My muse, she'll speak. The Greek and ancient poets are talking. But she's rocking, putting them to shame. 
My muse, she's cool. I drew like a Reese's mug. My muse still shines, inspires lines from my feeble pen. No, I'm staying. No. My muse, she draws, breaks laws with a dazzling brush. My muse is a scream, my dream. To swim deep in her soul. Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah, give a big hand to Mr. Brandon Spinelli for O2 oh, Cool Girl. One of the most talented young performers it has been my pleasure to teach. What a poser. Does that guy know what a joke he is? Hi, Brandon. Hi, Penny. Uh, this is for you. Uh, you're the muse. Am I the cool girl? Uh, yeah, here, read it. I'll, I'll read it later. Oh, well, if you have time later or something. Students, parents, before I announce the name of the winner of the Lee Cop Art Competition, I want to say that everyone luck, who Penny. entered is special. Penny, I am so proud of you. Oh. And the winner is Odyssey by Penny McDonald. <gasps> Come on up. An odyssey is a long journey filled with hardship and adventure, but one that is eventually triumphant. Penny will now unveil her triumph for us. but I'd heard it before. The first time when I was seven years old. I'll never be happy in this world. I remember thinking, I wish I could escape somewhere. Some place where I wouldn't have to hide. And people would just like me the way I was. All right, Ben, good job. McDonald, the world as you know it has changed. No more confusion. You are now dialed in. Cool. Extra cool.
What? We get to feel small From high up above The pendulum Your calls. This Sunday's calling me. See ya. Penny, I was supposed to meet your mom. Did you see her? My mom? Why would you? Penny, please tell her I'm looking for her. The poem I gave you explains everything. I know. Did you expect that to happen? No, not at all. I didn't think he was the killer. I thought it was someone else. I first. thought it was his brother. Yeah. Penny. Mr. Tagore, hi. Your mother is in very grave danger. You need to. as a member of KIP. By the oral constitution, you can be convicted without trial. Uh, let go of me! Dad! Uh, Officer, is this necessary? Dad, do something! Are you gonna let these girls uh, take Mom away? Penny, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Uh, Are you sure you know what you're doing? Do you have a clue about anything? If you cared so much, how could you let this happen? Now Penny has no one. Uh, run, Penny, run!
clear. Let's do it. Set. Yeah, go. What happened to you? Winston, my mom and dad are in trouble. I don't know anything. Mr. Tagore had these paint cans. So? You're loving this. You've got me totally at your mercy as usual, and I have to beg for your help. I have to hide a lot of things or I'll blow my cover. I have something else. You have to read it for me. Why should I read that? Winston, please, I need you. Look, if you dare say anything to anyone about this, I'm dead. Do you understand? My muse won't sever. It's forever the bond can't break apart. My muse grooves. She'll always move my beating open heart. My muse has brains. They are contained in a secret book remains. Take me there. You don't want to go there, Penn. It's not safe. I'll show you, but I can't stay. Whatever happens, you're my best bet. Forever, Penny. came and set fire to our books. I think Mr. Tagore's in trouble. And they took my mom and dad away. I'm very sorry about your mom and dad. They were great. Were? What do you mean, were? What happened to them? They're lost to us, Penny. And to you. Lost? Once the powers get someone, the chances of escape are... No. I'm sorry. Come on. I want to show you something. Brandon, what's KIP? What are all these people doing here? Out there, there's no freedom. What do you mean? This world could be amazing. Everything is right there for you. Sure, anything you can buy. How about the things that aren't for sale? Hi, Doreen. Hi, Owen. You can overcome all your poor education. You can overcome all your poor education. Not bad. Thanks. Joey's grandfather had a stash of books in his basement. And he used to read them to Joey, even though he knew it was dangerous. They got him eventually, took him away, and destroyed all the books. What the powers didn't know was that Joey had picked up reading. And that was a secret he couldn't share with anyone, except us. Well, who was that with him? Was that his grandmother? That's Doreen. She used to read, but forgot how. Joey's teaching her again. He's teaching her? We all do what we can. I thought all the books were destroyed. Not all the books.
freedom to think have been banned by the forces that control this world. This is the last library. The last library? The overdue fines must be huge. Can we go in? There's nothing for you here, Penny. Everyone I care about is involved. I want to join. The revolution doesn't want you, Penelope. You made this world, and we're trying to fix it. Tanya, you Penny, here? you think you know me. You don't. I'm the only person who's told you the truth. We're going on a mission tonight, Brandon. Yes, you can. You think your stupid spray paint is supposed to be something special? You're just vandals. You're owning everything. And it's your fault that my parents were- Penny. It's not about the paint. Someone get some help. What? No. What is it? What is it? Get some help. Decor! Get him water, someone! What have they done to you? Brenda. <coughs> Penny, you are one of us now? Mr. Tagore, who's done this to you? Penny, I knew the risks. <laughs> no, save your breath. You need to rest. The Odyssey is not complete until you're brave enough to face yourself, to control a situation. You must understand, Penny. Knowledge is... Power. K-I-P. No, sir, you can't die. Sir, you're the... trying to bust these scum for a long time. I'm not one of you. You are now. I finally woke up. I never thought reality could be so great. Oh, forgot about that. When both reality and fantasy suck, what's left? That's terrible, Penny. It's a good thing you can't read it. <laughs> if the person who did that disgusting thing doesn't apologize right now, Whoever did that is a jerk. I assure you, we'll get to the bottom of this. And Tanya's an idiot. No. She's the only one who figured it out. Figured w what out? Brandon, I'm not the cool girl. I'm not who you think I am. You are the coolest girl, Penny. What are you talking about? I can't read your poem. I don't blame you. It's nothing great. I can't read your poem. I can't read a pizza menu. I can't read my own report card. I'm the world's biggest faker. You can't read? Well, it was easy. Everyone's too busy to notice or just couldn't be bothered. Dad, you're never around. And Mom, you work for every cause in the world except me. You should be proud of me. Proud of what? Proud that you lied to us, to your teachers, and to your own friends? I know you hate me. But no one hates me as much as I hate myself. 
I walk around scared that I'll be found out every minute of every day of my life. I can't believe those teachers were so blind. My teachers were too out of it or too frazzled, except one. And Winston, who thought was helping, was hurting. He covered for me and I let him. Penny, I have... Whose fault is it that I can't read? Yours? Yours? Mine? Everyone! No one! I don't care! I don't want to hide anymore! Penny, there's something I have to say. I know how you feel. How could you know? Listen, please. When I was 13, I did what you did. I had a hard time reading, too. What? Every time somebody nearly found out, I had a scheme to throw them off the scent. And you didn't notice when I was doing the same thing? I guess I was in denial about it. Or maybe you're just a great faker. Still, you're so much like I was then, it's scary. Well, what made you get help, Mom? When Grandma died, my safety net fell through and I had no one to protect me. The people who care about you can't always be around, Penny. I know what you're thinking, that from this moment on, we'd be the picture-perfect family. Well, not exactly. Dad still works a lot, and Mom, she still has all of her causes. But I know they're trying. As for me, it's great not having to hide. You know that girl, Yvonne? I think she likes me. Ooh, I'm so jealous. So I'm gonna ask her if she wants to go to a movie or, you know, hang out. Why don't you go to a restaurant? You're still short enough to order from the kids' menu. And if they have small words, you can practice your reading. Here's Byron, I mean. Brandon. See ya, Penn. Uh, hi, cool girl. Hey, Brandon. Long time no see. What you got there? Uh, you know, shoes and a few books. Books? Are you... Reading now? Yeah. Check this out. My guy, he's intense don't make sense. No one understands his tenses like me. My guy is wild, gets riled, when someone steals his gel. <laughs> Smoking penny. You really wrote that? Maybe you should just stick to drawing. Uh, do you want to go to a movie or, you know, hang out? I want to